Hey guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out, man. Today we're going to be talking about the XDM 3.8 Compact in 9mm. Now, one of the biggest things, I've always wanted a 9mm version. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll see that I have a 40 cal, which I did the stippling, ruined the grip on it, recovered from it. But anyway, one of the things is that is one of my absolute favorite carry firearms. Reason being is the safety factors that are included on the gun itself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the XDM 9mm. Now I purchased this from one of my local dealers. It was used, but as you can tell, man, it, the, whoever used it didn't use it a lot. So I'm real pleased with it. And uh, anyway, when I saw this thing, I was like, okay, we're going to go ahead and get it taken care of. So it actually came, this is the spent shell with all the information right, right here. Back to the gun itself, this is what you get when you get the 3.8 compact. This is the range kit. You get a couple magazines. I'm not sure if these are the ones that came with it, but you got the extended magazine and the short stack magazines that got a holster, a little paddle holster. And guys, for the very first time, if you're going out and buying a gun, this package comes with just about everything in it. This also includes this, uh, there's a train. This is the mag holder right here. I've never taken this out of my other boxes. And this is a magazine loader. This is actually not a bad little loader. I'm just not a big fan of it. So anyway, that usually just stays right where it's at. So you've got the back straps here, here, and the one that's on the gun. There's an extension right here if you need for another extended mag. And there's a couple different empty slots right here, as you can see in the case. So there's a lot of things that you can be added. <laughs> and then you get these nice little Picatinny rails on the side here, uh, you know, if you want to use them. And it comes with this door stop. So anyhow, pretty neat little deal. Got an Allen wrench in there. Not sure what that's for. but. That's basically it. So without further ado, let's go ahead, pull the firearm out. I wanna go ahead and show you a little bit about the gun itself. And I tell you what, I absolutely love it. Shot about 200 rounds to this thing the other day, not one malfunction, and that's the quality you're gonna get from the XDM. So let's go ahead and take it out and dig into it. All right guys, so what we're looking at, this is the XDM 3.8 Compact 9mm. Now this thing, as you can see right there, and nine. It's one of my favorite firearms. It's one of the first guns that I ever carried as a concealed carry, and I absolutely love the damn thing. And one of the reasons why I do love it is because it has all the safety features that are built into the firearm. The ergonomics are absolutely incredible, and after doing a tremendous amount of research, this is the one that I actually went with. Now, I tell you what, let's go ahead and go through some of the details right here. As you can see, it is made in Croatia, imported by Springfield. Taking a look at this thing, you got absolutely beautiful firearm now let's talk about one of the other items it does come with these short stack magazines they have these index marks on the back you got 13 rounds in each one of these but here's the key element right here also you can use this as your spare magazine you got 19 rounds so that's 23 32 rounds 32 yeah <laughs> 32 rounds total that you can have on you in nine millimeter as we always do let's go ahead and go through this firearm from rear to the front, and we'll go from there. All right, so taking a look at the handle, you got this back strap right here. I don't know which size that is. One of the things that I really wish they would do is have the size of the back strap. Anyway, easily changed out. You just punch that pin out, slide them back in, and go from there. It does have a grip safety. A lot of people don't like the grip safety. I happen to absolutely love it. Moving up here, you got this front strap right here. Nice serrated areas right there. As far as the grip is concerned, um, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of its slip, slippery, but a little bit of stippling right there can get that issue taken care of. However, I do like the way it does feel, and these are mixed match right here, with a full grip extension on there. And even with the smaller mags, there's not really a whole lot of issues. Now, one of the things about this gun is the, the recoil is greatly reduced because of the weight of the slide. Boom, like that. All right, so the ergonomics, you got this nice really thumb area right here. As we go to the rear of the gun itself, you can see there's a striker indicator right there. When it's cocked, it physically does poke out. It comes with three dot sights. These are Novak style. These are dovetailed in so you can slide them back and forth. Whoever had the gun before me actually did a wide out on the full front side of this front sight. And I actually do like that because it provides a very nice sight picture. You're concentrating basically on that front sight anyway when you go into a good purchase. Serrations on the slide, it does have a beveled edge on the slide up here. On the front, you got these nice cutted serrations back here. Just nice cutted serrations. <laughs> nice cutted 
serrations on the uh, the front. It has a loaded chamber indicator. Not only is it visual that that thing pokes up, but it also uh, you can feel it. So say for instance, and I discussed this in a later video. I've got this thing sitting in a Safari Land holster like this. I can reach down there with my hand. One is I can feel it. It's cocked and ready to go. Number two, there is a round in that chamber. Anyway, really nice little cross cannons up here on the top side. You got a nice little dovetail sight on the front. Both of these things have serrations on the face of the sights, if you can see right there, front and back. Very nice beveled edge. As we move up to the side, there is your slide release. Now, one of the things I like about the slide release here is that in my actions, I always use the slide release. A lot of people do the rack method. I do a slide, and that thing is positioned perfectly for where my thumb will rest. Now, the one thing I do like about this versus maybe the SIGs is you get the releases and everything. This thing is very pronounced. It's not protected. So, in my opinion, it is designed for the use, just like that. Now. All right, moving forward, we've got a three-notch Picatinny rail on the bottom. And also, the mag release is ambidextrous right off the bat. Just like that, okay? Awesome little gun. It is a little tank, but I tell you what, that is one of the best things about it are the safety features built in. You got the, the grip safety and the trigger safety right there, as you can see. Now, let's take a look at that trigger pull. XDMs are known for some of the best trigger pulls on the market. Look at that. Hold on. Perfect. Let's do this real quickly. Let's check out and see what the poundage is on that trigger. Alright, just a tad over five and a half pounds. About five and three quarter pounds on that trigger pull, which is fine on a defensive gun. Alright, so we got four safety four safety measures that lead into the value of this gun. The grip safety, the cocked indicator, the loaded chamber indicator, and the safety on that trigger. I like this for a beginner CCW because of the safety factors that are involved. That being said, let's go ahead and tear it down, which is easy to do. Break that thing to the rear, pull that up, bring it down just like that. Okay, so there it is guys, the internal workings of this thing. You can see it is not exactly the cleanest gun in the world because I've shot the dang thing. I like the drive rod and the drive spring. This is a captured with an internal sleeve bushing right there, as you can see. Nice big old locking lugs in there. It does come, well, you can see how much I've shot it in the last couple of days. Polished feed rails, cold hammer forged barrel. Very nice barrel length on this thing. From the rear is three and a half inches. 3.8 to be exact. All right, so you can take a look at the internal workings. Just like that. Eh, nothing special. It just works. It's like a Glock. The damn thing just worked. I've never had an issue out of my 40. Even after I destroyed the damn thing, it runs like a champ. And I'm sure this guy right here, when I took it out, I just shot the living daylights out of it and it just ran. I actually, I just love this gun. Matter of fact, I might start carrying it. I might make this my uh, carry gun for next month. I'm doing a do carry gun every month just so I can give you guys some feedback on how they react. All right, put it back together. It's very simple, very easy. Feed that up in there, just like that. There you go. Very nice, very simple. Got some slide rails up here. Now the slide rails, are metal sleeved, as you can see, right there. They're non-replaceable, which is no big deal. Got a train in the background. So I call that it's my accent music. Go ahead and pop that back up. Bring it back on there. Bring it back, lock it to the rear, push that, boom, you're done. Bang. All right, so let's talk about how much this bad boy weighs. Empty with an extended, extended mag. Hold on, go ahead and turn that thing on so you can see it. One pound, 12 ounce, 12.2 ounces. One pound, 12.2 ounces. With the short stack in it, one pounds, 
11.2 ounces. All right, so let's talk about the overall assessment. It's a little powerhouse, man. You've got a lot of firepower. You got the extended mag right here. You got this nice little mag right here. The paddle holster that comes with it is adequate. All right, so one of the things I do is I like this Safari Land holster. This is the Oh, I don't know which model it is, but anyway, I did a review on it a while back. But I, the XDM 40 and the XDM 9 fit in the same holster. And the reason I like this holster is I can take it on and off without having to put my hands anywhere near the trigger. And again, that's one of the benefits of having that little grip safety right there, is that as long as you don't put your hand on that, there's no possible way that the gun can go off. Let's just do that. So you put your finger on that trigger and pull it all you want. It's not going to go off till that's depressed. Boom. All right. Basically, that's it, man. This is the XDM 3.8 Compact in 9mm. I like this gun. I'm going to do a detailed video coming out later on next week about why I think this is the perfect pistol for the beginning CCW person. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. Give me a like on the video if you liked it. And that's about it, guys. And then, as always, I end it just like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Go to Boy32. Out. So this thing is an awesome little shooter.